الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today inshallah we will uh, start a new surah surah al quraish uh, again this is a it says makkiyya makkiyya meaning it was revealed before the migration before the migration that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did to medina and it has four four ayat four verses in it so let's begin li la fi quraish the first word is li la fi actually it is two words not one word li is separate ilafi is separate ilaf we come back to leave after ilaf is a master inshallah in the third level <clears throat> we will learn this uh, this master ilaf means to create love to cause love to happen to generate love to generate familiarity to make somebody found of something you know that you can translate it different ways we will settle to one translation inshallah but i'm just telling you what different meanings it could have have to make somebody accustomed to something to you to be used to something so there are several meanings that this word has but for the speakers they should bring in mind the word ulfat you know ulfat we used in urdu language ulfat means love affection so that's because a more common known meaning so that's what we are going to use inshallah today so this is a masdar and this masdars are noun and when ali is attached to a noun an ism then this li means for So li means for, and ilaf means to generate love. So for generating love, for um, creating love. Let's call it creating love. For creating love, Quraysh. Quraysh is a name of a tribe. So this is the majority of the people who used to live. Uh, in in makkah abdullah you have a question yes have your hand. Uh, in the word by word quranic corpus i saw that ilaf means the familiarity yeah yeah that's what i was saying when i say accustomed accustomed means to be familiar with something hmm? as yes. i was saying there are different meanings that this word has they are close in in uh, like they are not like they are they are close in 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 its uh, it's what they really mean but but you're right there are people who have translated it differently okay so you you said custom to or familiarity and you will see something different in in other lang- other uh, other translation done by other people okay okay for creating love quraish 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 is the name of the tribe as i said so we will not translate quraish for creating love of quraish for senior students ila fi quraishin hmm this is mudaf mudaf ilai like rasulullah hi baitullah hi is it similarly ila fi quraishin for creating love of quraish love of quraish love for what that will be explained in the next ayah ila fihim rihlat ash-shita was saif you see this ilaf this is same word as this ilaf 
that came in the first ayah is just written differently. You see, ilafi and ilafi, they sound exactly the same. Just in writing, they are a little different. So it is the same word. Ilafi him, ilafi him, creating love, creating love in them, or dear, dear love. Hmm? Rihlata. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Sorry, I'm late because the internet just died in my house. Oh, okay. All right, welcome back. What did I miss? Inshallah, I will, I will, re I will repeat it. Inshallah, you didn't miss much. Rihla. Rihla means journey. Rihla means journey. Ashita. Shita means winter. winter. Shita means winter. Wa. And as saif. Saif means summer. summer. Yeah. So what you missed was li. Li means for ilaf creating love. Quraish. Quraish. For creating love of Quraish. Dear love. In the journey of winter and summer. So we have to learn this surah knowing that what was said in the surah before. There is a connection between the two. Hmm? In the previous surah, Allah said, did you not see, did you not notice how your Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant? Did he not make their plan in astray? And he sent upon them birds in groups, <clears throat> hitting them with stones from baked clay. Then he made them like chewed up hay. So like saying, why Allah did all this? To create love of Quraysh, dear love, for the journey of winter and summer. So in winter, the Quraysh used to go south for trading to the Yemen side, you know, area because there, those were warmer areas. And in summer, they used to go for trade in the north to the Syrian area. So, and because of this incident that happened, the incident of feel, everybody already loved, already respected and honored the Quraysh because they were the custodians of Kaaba. But after the, this incident, their, their respect and honor even grow further. So they would be safe. And when you are safe to do something, then it creates love for doing that thing. So love of trade. So Allah wanted to generate, to create in Quraysh the love of trade. So they could safely go for the journeys, for their trade. To in uh, to Yemen side in in winter and to the north side like Syrian area in the summer. So I will translate the two ayat again for creating love of Quraysh, dear love, for the journey of winter and the summer. <laughs> These are three words here, actually. Fa, and this lam here, and then ya'budu. Now, before we, I, fa means so. Before I come to this lam, I have to learn, we have to spend some time on this word ya'buduna. Ya'buduna. Sorry, I said ya'buduna. There is no noon here. Ya'budu. Anybody can tell me what is the first uh, Abada, Abada Ya Budu. Abada Ya Budu. What chapter, uh, Brother Shifa? What is the chapter name? It's, it's level one or level two? Level two. Level two? Level two? Or level one? I heard both. Level one. Level one, brother, level one it is. Okay, so level one, we have six, six chapters in level one. 
what chapter it belongs to abada ya abudu nasara ya yasmau sanya yasmau nasara yansuru nasara yansuru ya nasara yansuru abada ya abudu this is fatha damma pattern so brother shifa can you start from abada give us the meaning and reach ya abudu okay abada abadu meaning meaning first abada abada he worshiped he worshiped abada yeah. he worshiped abadu they worshiped don't, don't translate just keep going abada abadu abatta abat tum tum abattu abadna ya abudu ya buduna ta abudu ya buduna brother brother stop you said ya abuduna मिसिंग right yeah yeah so actually it is ya buduna noon is missing for some reason we will talk about it so ya buduna means they worship they they worship or they will they worship. worship or they will worship okay this lam is called lam amar ghaib it has a name lam amar ghaib this lam amar ghaib hmm when this lams comes with a mudare word it does the same thing which lam does you see lam similarly this lam what does this do if it is a plural mudare word with a noon at the end like this one there are some exceptions to it too but for for simple simplicity it will drop the noon if there is a like ya abudu it will make it ya abud put a sukoon like like lam does but if there is a noon at the end then it will drop the noon this is what this lam does so the missing noon is because of this lam this lam is called lam amar ghaib and it means should so should they worship meaning they should worship so they should worship fal yabuduna so they should worship rabba rabba means lord we already know this rabba hada hada this al baiti the house hada al baiti this house okay hada al baiti means this house rabba hada al baiti lord of this house so they should worship the lord of this house alladhi alladhi at'amahum min ju'in wa amanahum min khawf alladhi alladhi means the one who atama atama means he fed he fed whom them allazi atama hum the one who fed them you can i mean if you go word by word it will be the one who he fed them but that will be not a good english so you will say the one who fed them you will drop the he here the one who fed them min from ju ju means hunger ja ya ju what will be that what will, what chapter that will be hmm anyone qala yaqul qala yaqul qala yaqul ja ya ju and ju on will be its master hunger wa and amana this is the third level word we haven't learned this yet 
Amana means he made somebody safe. He made safe. Whom? Them. Min from, same min which was here, Hauf. We should know what chapter this belongs to. Hauf, what's the first word and what is the chapter? Anyone? And what is Hauf? What is Hauf? Master is half. Master is half. So what chapter that would be? Khafa. What is Ajwa. the name of the chapter? Ajwa. Baba Ajwa. Because Khafa has a alif in the middle, right? Yeah. The one who fed them from hunger means in hunger. And he made them safe from fear. Okay, so let's do this again. For creating love of Quraysh, dear love, in the journey or for the journey of winter and summer, so they should worship the Lord of this house. This house means Kaaba. Hmm? Allazi, the one who the one who fed them in hunger and he made them safe from fear. Any question? Can you repeat this again? Okay. Okay, like in word by word. Oh, no, word by word. Li. For. E. Lafi. Creating love. Quraysh. Quraysh. For creating love of Quraysh. E. Lafi. Him. Like Kitabi. Him. Hmm? Rabbi. Him. Dear love. Rehla. Journey. Ashita. Winter. Wa. And. Asaif. Summer. Dear Love for the journey of winter and summer. Fa. So, li. This is actually li. Should. Ya budu. This is actually ya budu. They worship. So, they should worship. Rabba. Lord. Haza this. Al bayti the house. So, they should worship the Lord of this house. Allazi, the one who atama, he fed whom them, he fed them, min from ju in hunger wa, and amana, he made safe whom them, min from hauf fear, the one who fed them from hunger meaning in hunger, while they were hung in hunger. And he made them safe from fear. I think we can go to the... Uh... Shabazz, why? Before you go. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. This Lee is for translating as a should. Can it be translated as let them? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Okay. So let them worship. This is another way of different ways of saying this in English. Yeah. Okay. For example, uh, uh, in English we can say, "I let you do this now." It means it actually actually you are saying you should do this now. Basically, so different ways of saying the same thing. So you are right, brother uh, Sarfraz. Zakallahu khairan. I also have a question. Go ahead, Abdullah. In the wa amanahum in uh, can it also mean uh, uh, and he saved them from fear? What did I say? Do you remember? Uh, he made them uh, safe from yeah, fear? It's the same thing. You are saying the same thing what I was saying. There is no difference here. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. 